this is the final episode in the series from Tech Expert to Team Leader. I'm so glad you've been on this journey with me. And today we're digging into something a little bit unexpected, but incredibly important. Emotional intelligence. Mining is an industry where timing and accuracy are critical. So emotional responses need to be well managed. Now, I can imagine what some of you might be thinking. Emotional intelligence in mining. Isn't that a bit too touchy-feely for an industry that's all about precision, machinery and high pressure environments? Why isn't my job to handle other people's emotions for them? They're adults, aren't they? Well, I hope you're somewhat comfortable and ready to give this episode your full attention because developing your emotional intelligence or EQ might just be one of the most important skills you need as a future industry leader. And it's far from touchy-feely. It's about understanding people, the individuals who make the decisions, run the machines, and ultimately drive the success of all of your projects. What is emotional intelligence really? At its core, Emotional intelligence is the ability to recognize, understand, and manage your own emotions, while also being able to navigate the emotions of those around you. As technical people, this can be really challenging for us. We tend to focus on data and facts, and we can be distracted from the human emotions that surround us. We may even be uncomfortable by this aspect of the workplace. But in mining, where high pressure situations are common, emotions can run high and things can often get heated. Being able to stay in control of both your feelings and of those of your team is a critical skill. Why does it matter so much? We work in some pretty remote and isolated environments at times. There's often not a lot of people around us. But it is crucial that we remember that we deal with more than just rocks and machinery. We're working with people, teams, stakeholders, clients, and they all bring emotions into the mix. And that's why emotional intelligence is so important for leaders. Being able to read the room, understand what's going on beneath the surface, and guide your team through tough times is a skill that will set you apart. Let's put this into a real world context. Imagine your team is behind on a major project. There's pressure from above to get things fixed. Now, stress is building up and then boom, a critical piece of equipment fails. People are frustrated, tempers are flaring, Things are getting noisy and the whole team feels like giving up and walking away. As the leader of this chaos, this is your moment to step up. But how do you do it? Well, it starts with self-awareness, understanding your own emotions. You probably feel just as stressed as everyone else, maybe even more so as management are keeping the pressure on. But the key is to take a moment, breathe and check in with yourself. Recognize your frustration, but don't let it control how you act. Then you move to self-management. Once you're aware of how you're feeling, you can choose how to respond. Instead of snapping or panicking, you stay calm and focus on the solution. When your team sees you keeping it together, they'll feel more confident, focused, and ready to tackle the problem. Then you can turn your attention to social awareness. This is where you look at how others are feeling. Is your team discouraged? Are they overwhelmed? By understanding their emotions, you can step in and give them the support they need. Maybe it's a pep talk, Maybe it's a moment to let off steam, or maybe it's just listening to their concerns. Whatever it is, 
You're showing to them that you're not just focused on the task, you care about them. And finally, relationship management. This is where you bring everything together. As a leader, you're using your emotional intelligence to motivate your team, resolve conflicts, big one, and build trust. When things go wrong, your team needs to know that you're in their corner, that you're focused on finding solutions and not playing the blame game. When you think about the best leaders that you've worked with, what stands out? I'll bet it wasn't just their technical expertise. It was probably how they made you feel. Supported, motivated and understood. That's emotional intelligence in action. And it's something you can develop no matter where you're starting from. If emotional intelligence doesn't come naturally to you, don't worry. It doesn't come naturally to me either. And honestly, it doesn't come naturally to many technical people. It's a skill like any other. You can get better with practice. Start small. Next time you're in a meeting, really pay attention to the emotions in the room. Who's engaged? Who seems distracted? Who seems frustrated? Just by observing, you'll start to see patterns and get better at responding in the heat of the moment. Look, developing EQ skills can be challenging. You may need to learn about different types of people, learn to look deeper into reading people, and learn some new techniques for people management. But the paybacks for improving these skills will be enormous and maybe unexpected. It was the one thing that I did personally that took my career to a whole new level and opened up global opportunities that I didn't even realise were waiting. So here we are at the end of the series. We've talked about communication, emotional intelligence, adaptability, and all those soft skills that will take you from being a technical expert to a true leader. But here's the most important thing I want you to remember. Leadership isn't about being perfect. It's about growth. It's about learning to connect with people, to motivate your team, and to handle tough situations calmly and with empathy. As you go forward, take these skills with you. Keep practicing. Stay open to learning. And most importantly, lead with empathy and understanding. The mining industry might be all about precision and efficiency, but at the end of the day, it's the people who make it all happen. Thanks so much for being part of this journey with me. If you have any questions or need help along the way, you know where to find me. And as you keep growing as a leader, remember, you've already got the technical skills. Now it's time to strengthen those human connections. Until next time, keep mining for those golden leadership opportunities. Take care and keep leading with your heart.